the Freedom Family played together this weekend a brand new game, the Season 5 of Diablo 3, where everybody started at level 1. This game right here, and here are the results. If you don't know, click that eye up there. That'll take you to the new Diablo 3 launch announcement video so you can play with us too in case you missed this weekend's event. It's still not too late to get in and play. So here are the results. Together we created a clan and we got all of these new seasonal characters as you can see. Many of them are level 70 and well over even a hundred Paragon. I myself am 130 Paragon. Thank you everyone who helped level with me. And those people who haven't accepted their invite or we haven't been able to invite is because you are already in another clan. So before you can join the MGN clan, you must leave your current clan. So please do so and then I'm happy to invite all six of you who are still pending. So what is this game? Let's actually get into the game and do a Torment 7. You can go all the way up to Torment 10. Let's play a Torment 7, which is the hardest level I can get to because Torment 8 requires uh, a higher uh, Paragon level, I believe. Yes. But I should be able to do Torment 7. Let me just confirm that. Yeah. So Torment 8 is locked until you hit Paragon level 150. So I'm Paragon level 130, which is almost 150. But let's do a Greater Rift, a public game, and let's go. So this is the gameplay. No, and here we have Luma Master from the guild telling us that he's almost caught up to me. But of course, he's level 112 Paragon, and I'm level 130, so he's close. All right. Let me change my, my, the size of me so you can see more of the game and less of me. All right. And let's try to play this game so you can get a sense for what this game is all about in case you want to join us and play with us. All right. So the rift will open here. And you can see everyone who is in this party. So there's a monk, a witch doctor, and a crusader. And we are going, and I am playing a sword and board tank. So I'm going to dish out little damage, but I'm going to take a lot of punishment. And my skills are dealing with um, things that pull items to me for the whirlwind. I've chosen the, uh, actually, this is the wrong one. I need to pull distant enemies towards me. So I'm going to be like a magnet to all the stuff. And then we're going to see. Uh, how we do. So we're going to do a greater rift. Level, let's do just level 30, Torment 7. And I'm waiting for everyone to accept the invite in this party. Now, greater rifts are an end game activity. If you just get into this game, you're not going to be doing greater rifts from the beginning. But we want to see end game content, don't we? Yeah. So here I am, combined, you know, pulling everything to me. I'm going to do my buffs, my shouts, and bring my uh, helpers. And we're waiting for everyone to join me. Whoop, or maybe I am just not following the pack. Sorry about that. Let me catch up to this guy who's just motoring through everything. The goal of a greater rift is to get to the boss fight. So you actually don't need to fight anything except the uh, blue and, and boss mobs. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just, to be efficient, we're going after all the blue boss fights. And here's nothing. As you can see, there's no loot. That, no one is dropping any loot. Because with a greater rift, all of the loot comes from the boss man at the end. And you can see that uh, purple indicator that shows how close you are to, to getting to the boss man. And we're quite far away. Ah, here's a blue guy. And I just leveled up to 130 Paragon, which is cool. Now you can see I'm taking no damage, and that's because of my build. I am basically a sword and board who's, who can absorb so much damage because I have skills that reduce my damage by half. I have skills that uh, make me immune for a short time. I have skills that give 50% of all damage taken to my um, helpers, so I can't do much damage, but I can certainly soak up a ton of damage. 
So let's continue following the guy up there. How did he get so far? <laughs> he moves really fast. You can also get run speed in enhancements, so you can increase your movement speed. Your default movement speed is pretty sad, pretty low. So I am my actual move my movement speed sucks. That's why I'm so slow. Oh, I just got a movement speed buff. I think someone picked up a pylon. So there's pylons which give you temporary boosts to your movement speed. And that's what uh, we just had here. And in fact, with this buff, we just roll motor through everything. And we're gonna hit the Greater Rift level two. So this is a little more challenging. Every Greater Rift gets a little bit harder. And I think he here. is right here. This is our super DPS dude who's just motoring through it all. And this is not, this is just a random pickup game, guys. This is not the Freedom Family playing together. But we certainly did play together, and we have our own server called Discord for speaking to each other. So if you don't know about Discord, just head on over to MGN, uh, www.mgn.tm, and go to the forums. In there, we have all of the server information, the links you need to be able to access the Freedom Family Discord server, and this is part of MGN, our gaming brand, the multi-gaming network, but it really is all part of the Freedom Family. It's all powered by Freedom. Okay, so we're approaching the boss man, and when we get to the boss man, uh, it'll be quite an epic fight. And I am just trying to keep up with our current party guy. And I think I've almost caught up to him. I have no fury, that's why I'm not able to uh, do the cyclone. And I have to hit a few things to build some fury so I can cyclone through all these guys. So I know this doesn't seem like too much fun right now, but that's because we have a really good player who's just able to do everything solo, it seems. That's not common. Uh, Diablo is actually a very hard game. It's very gear dependent. It's also, you're very, you have to be very focused on strategy. Who you're going to fight, uh, what kind of game you're going to play, adventure mode, uh, campaign, or rifting. So there's a lot of options and choice in the game, and it's up to you to decide how you want to play. All right, here's the Rough Guardian. Each time it's a different one. This is Veracity. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was no challenge at all. So here you see we have all of our loot. So I got a set belt, some unique items, and a consumable. Let's see what that is. It's going to pick up everything. And then uh, we have to talk to ask someone to upgrade a gem. And which gem should we upgrade? Increase the damage of primary skills by 25%. Okay. Poison all enemies for 2,000 weapon damage. Damage you deal is increased by 4% for every 10 yards. That's for a DPS. Gain 10% physical damage reduction. Non-physical. 35% of your damage taken is staggered over 3 seconds. 50% chance on hit to gain swiftness. Increasing your attack speed 1% for 4 seconds. This is being stacked. Now that's pretty good. I will take that one, and each attack you make against the enemy increases the damage it takes from your attacks. Let's just see what other ones. Fifty chance to hit on smite anywhere for two thousand. Holy, that looks pretty good. Fifteen percent chance on hit to smite a nearby enemy for two thousand percent weapon damage is holy. That's good for DPS, but I think this one is better. Fifty percent to gain swiftness, increasing your attack speed by one percent for four seconds. This, is tag, this stacks up to 15 times. So, yeah, let's get that one. Gain 1% cooldown reduction per stack of swiftness. Upgrade. Okay. And let's head back to town. So, that was not a representative example of a rift, but you get a sense of the gameplay at the end game. 
And that's why it's important to get into the game now while everyone isn't a max level yet. Because, well, when I say max level, I mean <laughs> there is no max level. You keep going up in Paragon levels. But at least uh, not everyone is at Paragon 1000 steamrolling through Torment 10. So we have a consumable, which is used to add a socket to a weapon that doesn't have a socket. That's pretty cool. And we got a set belt that gives us 25% run speed, but it's lost for five seconds after taking damage. So that's good for chasing down people, which is very helpful. So let's put that on. And let's see if our run speed really is increased. And it's currently 24%. Now it's 49%. So yes, you can see it really makes me run a lot faster. Now this is a set item. So I also need to get wrists, which are here. And someone wants me to go to level 35 rift. All right, let's try it again. Maybe this time it'll be more challenging because this is a higher level rift and we'll find out very soon. In the meantime, can I pick this up? No. I'll say, let's do it. An ally has departed. The minions ah, sure, let's continue. Weaker. So someone exited, but we're gonna go through it anyway. So let's go. Oh, so someone again is running up ahead of us. How did he get so far? Well, I can catch him, hopefully. I have my new belt, but it requires five seconds of taking no damage. So that's going to be difficult. If I have to not get hit for five seconds. Where am I? So I'm getting there. Almost there. Almost up to him. Okay, there we go. So we're going, ooh, to level two, very close. That was very close this time. All right, so we got impervious to damage. Wow. That means I should get my 25% run bonus. Ah. Okay, level 135, and moving on. Pull everyone to me. Let's hug like a family. Oh, wow. Now we're on level three already. That was pretty fast. What class is this guy who's moving so fast? Let's see. Oh, he must be... Oh, he's only the only other guy here. He's a witch doctor. I guess witch doctors are really powerful. You have to watch out for those explosions. They can hurt you if you get caught in them. So this is just a duel game right now. And I feel so useless. <laughs> What am I doing to help him? Not that much. Look how fast he moves. How does he have such an amazing speed buff? I would love to know. Any of you playing Witch Doctor, please tell me in the comments below. These little purple things accelerate the coming of the... of the uh, boss man for the... Ra for the for the last fight in the Greater Rift. It gives you all the rewards. And that, see that line with the little hourglass? That means how much time you have, like relative to other people playing this. Like that's the average, which means we're way, way above average for, uh, we're way above average for the normal time it takes to run these rifts, which is great. But that speed buff, man, 
That is something I've never seen yet in this game. I feel like it's being carried. <laughs> you guys know what a carry is. That just means someone is helping you through all of the all of the game, so you don't have to do too much, and you are you are just being helped through everything. That's what I feel like right now. So maybe I have too much defense. If I'm able to do this without even taking any damage. What paragon level is this guy, by the way? I'm not even sure. But you also have to watch out with those fire breathing things. The ice can slow you down as you just saw there. Some things spew ice and make ice patches along the ground. Oh, it's going backwards. <laughs> I didn't even notice he passed me again. Alright. I think he's down this way. Now as you go up these uh, levels in the Greater Rift, so do the rewards increase. When you do fight that end guy, uh, the reward you get is always based on the level of the Rift. So in this case we're on level 35, and I may not even be able to get to the Guardian by the time he gets there at this rate. Wow. Okay, I think my speed buff kicked in, the five seconds of taking no damage. And now it's gone. Alright. Seem to be hitting dead ends here. So we still need to finish this part of this level before we can get to the Rift Guardian. <coughs> All right. Oh, we just got a <laughs> a pylon that increases our damage by hitting everything around us with lightning, as you can see. That's a very powerful buff. Ah, here's the way to level four. Okay. There's five levels in every Greater Rift, five um, different zones, and they're all random. So you can see this zone looks very different from the previous one. Let me pull everything towards me. Bring out my helpers. And it's always a balance between DPS and defense. You have to manage uh, both so that you don't die when you're playing a game. Ah, here is the Rift Guardian. Okay, finally. Let's see how quickly he can die. He seems to be going down pretty fast. Okay, he didn't go down as fast as the previous one. But that still came down very quickly. Alright, so we got a unique amulet, a unique mace, a unique axe, unique gloves, another unique mace, ice blink, and a bunch of things. So let's see. What is Ice Blink? Your cold skills now apply chill effects. So we don't care about that. I don't use any cold skills. So let's just keep upgrading this guy. And let's head back to town. T for teleport. That's the quick key to teleport back to town. All right, I'm going to have to say goodbye to this OP, overpowered guy, because I am really not having any fun. <laughs> and I'm sure you're not having any fun watching this for those of you who are still here. So I'll say goodbye. Thanks for the party. I need to, A new ally has need to joined, head out. But the minions of hell grow stronger. And I'll add him as a friend because he's so cool. Add friend. And maybe I'll invite him to our clan, but he's probably already in another clan. Yes. Leave game. All right. So we're out of that game. Now you can also play private games in this uh, Diablo where you can invite just your friends. So you can try uh, 
try to have people only that you want in your party, not just random matches, which that game was a random matching of people who are just looking for other random games. So let's at least have a look at what we got. Uh, so we have a Traveler's Pledge. Wait. Here are the unique items. Oh, they got all identified if I go here. Is that right? Who auto identifies? I thought. Anyway, let's try it. Identify and identify. And then I'll end this video. Sorry, guys. It's dragging on a little bit. But let's take a look at these legendaries, shall we? So the first legendary is a pretty cool one-handed ancient legendary mace. Here, let me hide myself so you can see the full picture. So it does a lot more damage than my current weapon. And actually, no, it doesn't. What am I doing? I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> this one. Critical hits have a 3% chance to spawn a health globe. That's cool. It's got a socket, which is important. And it does a lot of holy damage. But it doesn't give me any life per hit. So the previous one gave me a lot more life per hit. So this would be a DPS item if I want to try DPS. This one doesn't seem to be much of anything. These ancient legendary gloves are also not better than my current gloves. And this mace is also not better. What about my legendary amulet? So that is a better amulet for DPS and toughness, but not for recovery. And this belt, I think I already had this belt before. I just equipped a set item because the set item gains 25% run speed. And I think I'll put that unique belt back. So they also have this awesome legendary gem that gives me 20% increased damage for 57 seconds after killing an elite pack. And I can also get 15% extra damage against elites, which is very valuable since you're trying to fight elites all the time. They give you the most experience and, and loot. And I also have this legendary gem that increases the damage of primary skills by 25%. Now what's a primary skill? That's one of these, like, uh, cleave, I believe, is a primary skill. All right, let's have a look at my stash quickly. So you can see all the gems that I have in my stash and all the items. I'm going to put these gems along with the others I had here. This particular, these unique items are in my unique weapons stash there. Oh, this was a glove. That doesn't go in there. This consumable is next to the other consumable I had. The glove goes together here. And did I have anything else? Ah, the amulet. So we have a unique amulet. And oh, that's a gem. That goes in my gem box. All these gems as well. This is just categorizing, so it's easier to maintain. This is a set item. So my set items go here. Crown's buff bracers. Plus 500 vitality. So we have... I thought we had something else that gave plus 500 vitality as a bonus. Ah, here. Oh, so I have the set now. I can choose to put on my bracers. So I'm immune to knockback and stun effects. Which of these two is better? So lightning skills deal 20% more damage. All right, so let's put this guy on. And let's compare. So I have more vitality more strength. I have a resist to all elements. Oh, that's pretty good. Then I'll put this guy on to gain the 500 vitality bonus so my 
health should increase by like 50,000. And did it? I still see my health is at 841,000. Did it not add? Hmm. So my vitality is 5884. And now my vitality is 5356. So I didn't affect my health. It should have affected my health. Maybe I have to close the inventory and put in this. Hmm. It's not affecting my health. I should have more health. Maybe this gives me additional. Ah, it's 14% life. So that extra 500 vitality is probably equivalent to the 14% life. So there's no benefit to, in, to having those bracers with that set bonus. And in that case, I'll just put it back. That means I also should put uh, this bracer back on. And I'll just store this as a set item in my inventory. Maybe we'll use it in the future. All right. So let's just disassemble all of these blue items and the yellows as well. And then stash the components away. So we're done. Oh, and our shield sucks. I would like to get a better shield. So let's try to random roll a better shield, shall we? You look like you could use a new item of uh, indeterminate. That will look nice on you. Oh, wow. Look, we just got two unique shields in three attempts. Now let's see if they're any better. <clears throat> Ancient legendary shield. Gives me a 33% chance to block a lot of damage. That's very helpful. Um, but I have a lot worse toughness and damage. But it reduces damage from melee attacks by 25%. That seems huge. Let's put it on. Plus, I have an empty socket. And this one is for fire skills, dealing 20% more damage. And it adds a lot of strength and life and reduces all resource costs. Hmm. Well, let's keep the one I currently have on. That's a 33% chance to block. That's very good, I think. All right, so mission accomplished. <laughs> that didn't take long. And we got lucky there, guys. So I'll keep this yellow shield. And I will put this shield into storage and get rid of this blue item. I'll just decompose it because we do craft. Crafting is an important part of this game. It lets us get some set items as well as if we just are missing something important we can get it through crafting. All right so I hope you enjoyed this very long video about Diablo 3. Who am I? I am George, CEO and founder of Freedom and you've been watching 